So you want to be a Blair Waldorf inspired it girl. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to live each day a little bit more glamorously, how to create a lasting impression of sophistication and elegance. Let's deep dive into beauty choices, styling tips, and how to think like Blair. If you're searching for the confidence you need to be queen, this video is for you. Hi, gorgeous, glamorous girls, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Scarlett. <laughs> I post some really girly beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos every Monday, and I've recently started this It Girl Masterclass series, where I do deep dives into iconic It Girls and tell you exactly how you can look and live like them. I'll link my previous two masterclasses below, but this one, as I'm sure you can tell, is about how to be Blair Waldorf. Blair is one of my favorite characters of all time, so I'm really excited to be doing a deep dive on her. If you're not already, make sure you check out my content on TikTok and Instagram, because I post a lot of Blair inspired stuff on all of my platforms like always this video is going to be broken into two parts all of the physical things you can do to look like a Blair Waldorf inspired it girl and the lifestyle kind of changes you can make to live a life that is super glamorous and exactly like Blair's lifestyle no matter what budget you're on <laughs> let's get into the video and let's learn how to become Blair Waldorf because who doesn't want to be Blair Waldorf I swear I ask myself multiple times a day what would Blair Waldorf do Firstly, I'm going to tell you all of the physical things you can do to look like a Blair Waldorf inspired it girl. Lesson number one is the importance of never leaving your house without looking super presentable. Blair would never be seen dead without looking her absolute best. Like, can you imagine Blair going out without her hair blow dried, without her makeup on, in her sweatpants? I don't think Blair would even own sweatpants. No matter where you're going, whether it's running errands or picking up some groceries or walking the dog, literally whatever you're doing, you want to be dressed your best. And no more being lazy or slackening off on your maintenance routine. When you wash your hair, blow dry it, style it, do your makeup every day, allocate yourself a little bit of extra time so you can put in as much effort as possible to look as glamorous as possible at all times. I think it's important to note as well, Blair looked glamorous when she was literally just relaxing at home on her own. This isn't just about when you're leaving the house. Like you want to look your best at all times, even if you're literally just home alone, binge watching old gossip girl episodes on the couch still look your best you'll feel your best i think that it will help you to feel more confident but it's a good way to like rewire your brain to feel like a glamorous it girl as well if you always look like one and you're presenting yourself in the best possible way then you're going to feel it as well lesson number two and this kind of goes off the back of what i was just saying you need to invest in some luxury sleepwear blair is not wearing an old ratty t-shirt and boxer shorts she's wearing beautiful silk pajamas every single night a silk robe there's so many affordable pieces you can get like you don't have to blurge all your money on la perla pajamas pretty little thing has heaps of silk pajama options Options. Personally, I buy a lot of my pajamas from Victoria's Secret and Peter Alexander, which I'd say is like mid-range. And Midnight Mischief has really cute stuff as well, but they're mid-range expensive as well. But if you're looking for cheaper options, like H&M has silk pajamas, satin pajamas. Throw out all of your old ratty pajamas, and then it will force you to only wear cute matching silk sets. And again, I think that this is just going to help you feel more luxurious and make every day feel that little bit extra glamorous. Even if all you're doing is lying in bed watching YouTube for six hours, <laughs> at least you're going to look glamorous while you're doing it. Lesson number three is invest in yourself and invest in your self-care. I just know Blair is a self-care queen. You know that episode where she's lying in the bath eating macarons? drinking champagne, like that's the kind of self-care nights that you need to be having. Like I was saying before, Blair's not skipping out because she's lazy. She's following her routines strictly every single day without fail. So you wanna have a luxurious skincare routine and have a self-care night routine as well. If you have a bath, take a long bath with some macarons and a glass of champagne or take a hot shower, like a long everything shower and grub yourself with really nice rose-scented soaps, rose-scented skincare. I I love the fresh beauty range in the rose scent. I know Blair would really like that one and some of it's infused with real rose petals. It's like little things like that. I know it sounds like this is going to be really expensive to buy all of it, but you can do it on a budget. Like just use the skincare that you have, light some candles, put on some jazz music, drink whatever you want to drink out of a champagne flute. Like you can make your self-care night feel super luxurious without having like a Dior products, diptyque soap. Like you can just make do with what you have and make it 
feel luxurious. It's more of a feeling than a price tag. I think as well, if you make your self-care nights feel really glamorous and luxurious, you're going to be more inclined to do all of the things that you need to, to look your best. All of the little things that would go into making Blair Waldorf look as fabulous as she does, take time, right? So allocate yourself one night a week to have a self-care night and don't skip out on it because Blair wouldn't. Lesson number four, if you really want to dress like a Blair Waldorf inspired it girl, you can't wear pants anymore. The only pants that you're wearing are in your relationships because Blair is a dresses and skirts girly. She has a very, very feminine style. Wearing pants for her is quite rare. And I know for me as well, like it's a lot more comfortable sometimes wearing pants. So I reach for pants on days when I feel a bit like insecure and stuff like that, which is fine. I mean, like just take little bits from this as you will. You don't have to like live by this. Like it's your Bible. If you want to put together a Blair Waldorf inspired outfit, definitely reach for skirts and dresses over pants. And in winter, skirts and dresses with stockings. It's just a really easy way to make your outfit look more feminine. The next lesson is to stand up straight. I feel like we really overlook how important having good posture is. Having good posture makes you immediately look taller, thinner, more confident, more attractive. And it's such a simple thing. Like, why are we hunching all the time? It's not doing us any favors. The next time you're watching the show, pay attention to how Blair holds herself. She stands up so straight. She's so elegant in the way that she walks and holds herself. And it all comes down to her posture and her body language that also asserts her dominance and her power in every situation because she's not insecure and closing herself away. She's always really open with her body language, standing up straight, holding herself higher because she's the queen. She's the queen bee. So she should be standing above everyone else. You know what I mean? So that's how you need to hold yourself as well. The next lesson is no matter what outfit you're wearing, make sure that you have have the most beautiful lingerie underneath. You need to stop saving our best things for like special occasions. Like I know that I do this a lot as well. Like I have nice lingerie sets and I'm like, oh no, I'll only wear that on like a date night or a special occasion or something. Like no, we should be wearing it every single day. No matter what we're doing, whether you're just going to school or work or blah, blah, blah. Like no one's seeing what's underneath. It doesn't matter because you know what's underneath and it's going to help you to be your most elegant, confident self, which is Blair energy. So again, you don't need to go and spend all your money at La Perla like there are so many options for affordable underwear sets like cotton on I buy so many of my underwear sets from cotton on they have the nicest pieces for really affordable prices so invest in beautiful underwear sets if you already own them start wearing them stop saving them the next lesson is also on style and that is having a preppy inspired wardrobe Blair's style is very preppy it's very like private school girl-esque to kind of capture the essence of this, you need lots of blazers and lots of plaid printed items. Thicker fabrics like boucle, lots of pleats, pleated skirt. They're all very Blair. So look for that kind of schoolgirl structure. And I think that this style also can make you look very expensive if you do it right. My advice would be not to do it all at once. It gets like borderline costumey. If you want to actually incorporate it into 2024 and make a cool outfit, like Blair would not be seen dead looking costumey she would still look really cool and chic. I would do something like throwing a blazer over a simple silk slip dress or pairing a pleated schoolgirl style skirt with a super, super tight fitted skivvy top some chunky heels. You know what I mean? Like you're getting the essence of it without looking too costumey. And my last notes on fashion, start wearing bold statement pieces. One thing about Blair, and I think that a lot of people get this wrong when they do outfit inspo on Pinterest and TikTok for Blair Waldorf, they always put her in neutrals, like black and white, baby pink. That wasn't Blair. Blair was bold in her fashion choices. Lots and lots of ruffles on tops, like interesting necklines. Blair had a flair for the like creative fashion pieces as well as like classy, elegant style. And also like mix and match bold colors that wouldn't normally go together. That was one thing about Blair as well. She was not afraid to step outside the box when it came to fashion. I will never get that vision out of my head of her in that one polka dot outfit that was just so crazy. Like, I don't like that outfit at all. That's not my vibe. She didn't actually follow the fashion rules. She kind of made her own. Whereas I think Serena was a lot more on trend for the time. Blair kind of just like wore pieces that spoke to her personally and she is the queen, so she makes the rules. The last lesson is to take beauty tips from 
the French. When it comes to beauty, I think in French culture, everything is very understated and elegant. They don't like wearing too much makeup, which is very like Blair-esque as well. She keeps her makeup very, very minimal and neutral, like really rosy cheeks and stuff, but it, it's very, very natural. There's nothing that looks fake or faux about it, which is very French. I think that that's the best way to put it. With French beauty, it's all about enhancing what you have naturally, not trying to create things that aren't already there, if that makes sense. And if you want to learn about more beauty tips from the French, I would really recommend reading the book How to Be a Parisian Wherever You Are because that delves deep into French fashion and beauty secrets, which I know Blair definitely took a lot of inspiration from. Let's move on to the more like lifestyle or emotional type things that you can do to live a life that is inspired by Blair Waldorf. My first lesson is to start watching old Hollywood movies. Blair takes so much inspiration from old Hollywood it girls and old Hollywood films like Breakfast at Tiffany's, Roman Holiday, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. If you go back and revisit all of Blair's like dreams, they were all based on iconic old Hollywood films. And I think that Blair took so much inspiration from Audrey Hepburn and Princess Grace Kelly. Not only will watching these films make you feel like Blair Waldorf, I think that they will also help you to be inspired in your own life to live more elegantly, more glamorously. One of my favorite things to do recently is putting on old Hollywood black and white films, like really, really old films. When my boyfriend and I are having like a date night at home, I just think it creates such a classy ambience having that on in the background. If you had a projector, you could project them up on the wall. But as well, like to truly live like Blair Waldorf, we all know Sundays are for bone dry, cappuccinos, croissants, and breakfast at Tiffany's. So you can make that your Sunday morning ritual where you watch an old Hollywood film and eat croissants and drink bone dry cappuccinos. The next lesson is to start reading classic novels. Blair highly prioritizes her intelligence and she is an intelligent girl. She's smart. And I think that it is like super important to her to come off as really well-educated, well-read. If you can manage to read like 10 classic novels in your life, that would really help you to like throw into conversation, you know, your thoughts on Hemingway, on Salinger, particularly like if you want to sound upper class, wealthy, you need to sound educated and educated people have read classic novels. And as well as how that's going to present you to the world, it's also, again, a glamorous thing to do on a Friday night instead of binge watching Netflix, curling up in bed with scented candles on in your silk pajamas, reading a classic novel. Like that's just so Blair Waldorf. You're going to feel like Blair Waldorf. The next lesson, learn another language. Blair speaks a little bit of French here and there, but this kind of goes off the back of what I was just saying. I think that really educated, intelligent people can speak multiple languages. And that is definitely a sign of like the upper class, wealthy. They speak two languages, they're bilingual. Start learning a little bit of French, download the Duolingo app. If you have any free time, instead of scrolling on TikTok, you could start learning a little bit of another language. That's just like such a useful skill to have anyway. And it's going to help you appear more sophisticated, classy, wealthy, educated, like a Blair Waldorf inspired it girl. The next really important thing to note is keeping your space super clean and tidy. Blair Waldorf is such an organized queen. I mean, yes, she does have a maid to help her. My space could be beautiful and tidy if I had a maid too. A cluttered environment equals a cluttered mind and Blair Blair's mind was anything but cluttered. She was always one move ahead of everyone else. She knew exactly what she was going to do next. Keep your bedroom really tidy. Keep your living spaces tidy. Do your dishes. Vacuum the floors. Make your space look as beautiful and well presented as yourself. That also goes for your closet. Make sure that your closet is super organized, color coordinated if you need to, because you can't expect to be like choosing beautiful, glamorous outfits every day in a floor drobe, you know? You need some organization and beautiful clothes deserve a beautiful place to live. My next piece of advice to you is to nurture your cultural side. And what I mean by that is attend art galleries, go and watch local theater, go to the ballet, 
go to the opera. Blair loved doing cultural activities. That was kind of her leisure, if you will. A lot of her hobbies were very cultural. I know she went and saw films with Dan at the cinema and we all know she loved her old Hollywood movies. You can honestly go and Google cultural activities in your city and a list will come up of things that are on and go and do something that you wouldn't normally do. Step outside your comfort zone. Once again, this is going to give you talking points that will make you sound more sophisticated. It's just a glamorous activity. You can get dressed up, put on your nicest clothes, your nice heels, jewelry, and feel like you're Blair Waldorf for the night. My next lesson is the importance of having fresh flowers in your house. Go once a week, make it a weekly thing that you do and go to the market and pick up a few bunches of fresh flowers and spread them out through your house. Put some on the windowsill, put some in your bedroom, put some in your bathroom. Having fresh flowers around makes your space feel so glamorous and it's such a simple thing to do. And the reason I say go to the market is you can get them cheaper if you go to a flower market or a grower's market, a farmer's market. If you really want to be like Blair Waldorf, we know her favorite flowers are peonies, which are limited in season. I think that they only have short seasons two times a year. Peonies aren't in season. I would recommend Dave Austin roses or ranunculus, which are both a really good dupe for the peony rose. Otherwise, in summer, Blair likes hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. They're like my favorite favorite flowers um, but again they only have a short season my second last point is to know your worth and never ever 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 settle for less this is like one of the most important lessons that we can learn from Blair Waldorf she knew that she was royalty and didn't accept anything less than princess treatment even with billionaires and with literal princes she made them work hard for it you know what I mean you need to know your own worth and think of yourself as a queen bee like think of yourself as Blair Waldorf. You are a princess and any guy or girl or whoever you're dating is so lucky to be with you. We're not settling for this like minimum effort, the bar is low, regular guy BS these days. We're settling for Blair Waldorf treatment. And my last tip is to find a local patisserie or bakery near you and make it your local. Okay, that's where you wanna go to pick up your fresh croissants and pastries on Sunday morning for you to have when you're watching breakfast at Tiffany's. It's where you go after a hard day and you need a macaron to cheer you up. It's where you go for a bone dry cappuccino while you're trotting through town running errands in your stilettos. Again, Blair loved French culture and so I feel like finding a French patisserie would be the go-to but I know obviously they're not in everyone's town. It's like some sort of bakery where you can get Blair Waldorf inspired things. I think that just like the act of going to a bakery or a patisserie and picking up a pastry and a cappuccino like is just glamorous in itself rather than just making it at home. It's not as glamorous as getting dressed up, putting on a cute outfit, walking down to the patisserie and getting a coffee and a pastry. Maybe you can do that when you do your flower reset where you pick up fresh flowers and do it all together and make it a whole like Sunday morning tradition. I don't know. And that, my gorgeous glamorous girls, concludes my Blair Waldorf inspired masterclass. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that all of you can live your best Blair Waldorf lives. You're all classy beautiful princesses. You just need to believe in yourself and be confident. Do what you can to make every single day feel a little bit more glamorous. So I hope that this video gave you some ideas and if this video did help you give it a like and leave me a comment and let me know which masterclass you guys would like to see next. I'm about to go away on vacation. I think I'm probably going to be on vacation when this video goes up. So it might be a little while until my next masterclass, but I have some really glamorous vacay content coming your way. So make sure that you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next Monday. Thank you for watching. Love you all.